Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your 2017 yearly overview. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, thank you for joining me. Happy New Year. Have a great New Year. Um, and please remember that this is just a general reading, so uh, it may or may not apply to everyone watching or not in the same way. Um, make sure to watch your moon and rising sign readings for additional messages and of course if you're interested in your own reading your own private reading uh, the link to my website is in the description box below and i'm currently running a special um, on uh, yearly overviews and six month forecasts and the link to that is in the description box below as well so let's have a little cancer and see what's coming up for you what the year is about for you so it looks like a really good year um and some thinking going on that may cause you some issues or uh, stress but um, if you keep it under control and if you try to stay calm and grounded I feel like it's gonna be a really strong year for you this year at the bottom of the deck is your overall energy for the whole year is the page of Pentacles so with the page of Pentacles is your overall energy it talks about a new new energy coming in for your work sector your financial sector for how you make your money how you earn your living it's also um, education, a focus on study, research, development, education uh, coming up for you this year. And it could also be a focus on children or um, children being um, on the mind or in the plans, let's say, for the year. Uh, the Page of Pentacles is the card of the scholar, um, the diligent student learning developing taking it slow taking it one one step at a time and uh, building or developing uh, themselves so your career yourself your financial sector your relationships even and it's really good news very um solid news or trustworthy communication going back and forth to do with your money to do with your job either job offers coming in or multiple contracts coming in uh, more money coming in for you uh, during this year with the page of pentacles and you could be looking at you know making some decisions to do with how you earn your living um and maybe that's you know something that's gonna stress you out a little bit because i know you like to take your time uh in making decisions because you need to be sure that you're making the right decision and you're always considering everyone um around you and so that can really put a lot of pressure on yourself um but let's have a look at the month by month view so for January we have the ten of Pentacles so with the ten of Pentacles you start off the year really really strong this is the money tree this is time with family this is abundance rewards recognition um, it could be a successful completion of a task or a successful completion of a project at work and enjoying the rewards of it for those of you you could be uh, enjoying some, su some success and considering retirement or considering um, a change in you know what you do for a living the ten of pentacles is also happy events in the family to do with uh, maybe weddings or uh, engagements births in the family um, success of one or several members in the family and the family gets together to celebrate um, the ten of pentacles is also a card that talks about legacy and inheritance so for some of you you could inherit um something usually financially but some something substantial or something significant um coming your way even a house even property for some of you in january for february we have the seven of swords now with the seven of swords this is um it feels like it, it comes across in two different ways for some of you this is your energy where you're planning something but you're keeping it to yourself or you're secretly working on something or you're secretly planning to change your job or um, you know you're considering your options you're doing some research you're investigating seeing what kind of options there are for you out there if you wanted to change your job is what is coming across for some of you for those of you this talks about an air sign a Gemini Libra or an Aquarius and I feel like this person is trying to lead you down a, a, a wrong path someone who may try to trick you or may try to manipulate you into uh, doing something that would actually benefit them and not you um, the seven of swords is also saying you know what um, be careful who you trust and, and make sure to watch your back and make sure to copyright or make sure to um, make everyone aware 
that your work is your own so that no one else can take credit for it um, is what is coming up with the Seven of Swords. And for this view, it's just coming across as an unplanned trip. Um, in February, they just have to kind of pick up and go type of energy. And so you may uh, pack in a rush and forget certain things or not have everything with you um, that's coming across for some of you. And the Seven of Swords just talks about strategizing. February is a month for strategizing. And maybe even planning a surprise also coming across for others of you. It doesn't have to be all bad and especially in general readings it can be a lot of different things for march we have the page of swords the page of swords is again so another page talking about new energy and, and positive communication coming your way now the page of swords can represent a contract that you're reviewing um, a change to a contract that is happening for you um, i feel the for the better um, this is also a focus on research, education, developing your skills, uh, skills, furthering your education, coming across for um, others of you. Um, the page source can also be an air sign, maybe the same one as, as before. Um, so a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. And this could be their sun sign, their moon sign, or their rising sign. And I feel like this person may give you some news in February. Um, and for a minority of you, if it's the same person trying to deceive you, or manipulate you. I feel like this news may not be what you want to hear. But just do some research. Don't take it at face value. Okay, whatever news you receive that is unsettling or that saddens you in March, just double check and make sure that it is what it is. Um, but it does feel like documents, dealing with documents, research, development, um, exchanging information, um, coming across with the Page of Swords uh, for the most part. In April, we have the Five of Cups. With the Five of Cups in April, um, I feel like something's changing. For some of you, it's still attached to this air sign that may be causing issues. Uh, maybe you're involved with an air sign uh, who's holding back, who's not opening up, who may have trust issues, or um, you are not sure if you can trust this person or not. And if this is the case, then in April, I feel like you're saying, um, look, enough is enough. It's either going to be uh, this way or we're done or something like that is coming to mind with the Five of Cups. Enough is enough is what I hear or something's got to give, something's got to change. And so with the Five of Cups, for someone of view in April, if you're dealing with a manipulative person or um, someone who's holding back or non-committal um, or, you know, who's not opening up or even keeping secrets, then I feel like in April you're walking away from this person. All is not lost with the Five of Cups. I feel like there's a strong connection there, but maybe this person is just not ready or you're not ready uh, for what the other person is asking uh, of you. And with the Five of Cups, it could be that, you know, it, you take a step back. If this is a romantic relationship, then you take a step back and you're just friends for a while. But the connection is still there. The emotions are, are still there. So you never know what's going to happen. So don't worry about it too much. Don't dwell on it too much with the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is a card that talks about change. And so with change, some things are going to change, okay? Some things are going to be lost. But new opportunities are going to appear or be presented to you. So the message of the Five of Cups is focus on the opportunities. Um, because by looking at what is lost, first of all, you can't change that. It's done. And secondly, it's going to take up all your time and energy and effort. And also keep you in a negative energy, in a negative space. Um, and you're actually not going to see all the beautiful opportunities that are coming by um, as you're dwelling on what was lost. Okay? Um, for those of you, the Five of Cups, you know, it's... It can be anything, not necessarily just a relationship situation, but with the Five of Cups, I feel that um, you're definitely going, you're experiencing some changes. It is a number five, so it talks about change and the chaos that comes with change until you find your footing. Um, and the message in April is whatever change you're dealing with, don't focus on what is lost or don't dwell on it. Um, and just try to embrace it. Try your, base, your best to embrace it. And if it's difficult, then at least try to stay grounded and be patient uh, to see what else is happening, to see what else is offered to you. Because there's something coming to you on the heels of this change that apparently takes something away. 
for me we have the seven of cups so with the seven of cups this is contemplating your options or being presented too many options i feel like you're you're having to really take your time and contemplate what you want to do here it could be to do with a job situation it could be to do with a relationship situation whatever the case may be for you the seven of cups after the five of cups tells you that okay so something's changed and it's opened up a whole new world for you and now you have all these options and possibilities and you're not sure what you want to do you're not sure which is best for you because they all look similar or they all look good um so in may i feel like this is a time for you to contemplate it's time for you to really think things through um don't let anyone pressure you or rush you into making a decision with the seven of cups this is saying some things are going to be solid and some things are not going to be um trustworthy okay or they're going to be different than what you expect so try to get more information try to do some research on each option that you consider valid um before you choose which is best for you coming up with a list or talking to someone okay running through the options with someone else so that you have someone to bounce ideas off of um, is really going to help you clarify which direction you want to go but i feel like may can be a month where your your mind is elsewhere you're kind of contemplating or you're daydreaming and you're going through the motions every day but you your mind is elsewhere so try to stay grounded in as much as you can again try to do your research don't just take things at face value just, you know, be aware that there may be people who um, sometimes take advantage of uh, people who are just too kind or too open or too given. So just do your research before committing to anything or anyone when it comes to May. But I feel like you have some really good options, some really good possibilities um, to choose from. Absolutely. In June, you have the Three of Pentacles. Now with the Three of Pentacles, uh, for some of you, this is a new job. So that's what you've been contemplating. For others of you, I feel that this talks about joining a new group or a new professional group or a new social group. Um, and everyone there is working to the same goal. So I feel like you could do a lot of learning there. You could do a lot of solid work and lots of progress with whatever this is for you if you're trying to further your education or develop skills or polish off existing skills. The Three of Pentacles talks about success at work, impressing the bosses. It also talks about improving your financial situation or adding, uh, developing, expanding your, your financial situation. And for those of you, the Three of Pentacles can also talk about commitments. So if you've been struggling with, should I, should I not make a commitment? Um, the Three of Pentacles for some of you in June talks about making a commitment um, that is solid, that is long lasting. Um, especially if you're dealing with an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um, and the Three of Pentacles, like I say, talks about success, talks about impressing the bosses. You could be scouted for something in June. Um, you could be offered something out of left field. You're not anticipating this or you're not actively working towards it, and yet it is presented to you. And it's definitely a good money month for you to build, to expand, to improve your finances. For July, we have the tower. Now with the tower, um, you know, don't be scared of the tower. The tower is actually a really good card. It talks about things being shaken up and some things are gonna change, yes. Some things are gonna be taken away, yes. Uh, but whatever is lost during the energy of the tower um, was not supposed to be there anyway, okay? so. The tower shows up when, for example, we have started to walk on a path that is wrong for us. And the tower happens and we're going back to square one and then we start walking the right path. So with the tower energy in July, this could be um, breakthrough. This could be um, freedom, independence, liberating energy. Okay, so maybe for some of you, this is breaking free of a job that has been taking you for granted. This could be uh, breakthroughs happening within your job or um, especially if you work in development or research uh, or where you have to create things. The tower is a major breakthrough that opens up a whole new world for you coming up in July. For those of you, the tower can also be letting go of limiting beliefs or news or an event happening that opens your eyes to something. So it can be an epiphany that now reshapes 
either your work sector or reshapes the way you see love and relationships or reshapes the way you see family, reshapes the way you see yourself. Some big epiphany breakthrough happening with the tower in July. In um, August, you do have the Ace of Swords. So as a result of the tower in July, you have the Ace of Swords in, in August. And the Ace of Swords is victory. The Ace of Swords is triumph. It's mental clarity, a clarity of thinking, uh, seeing things clearly for the first time in a long time. Um, this is having a bird's eye view on things. Again, epiphany comes to mind with the Ace of Swords and a new beginning, okay? Starting to walk a new path as a result of it. With the Ace of Swords, if you're going through any sort of selection process, or application process the ace of swords is a victory card so it tells you you're gonna get it you're gonna get in you're gonna get through you're gonna get the results that you're looking for um, and the ace of swords is also cutting ties with the past so again it ties in with the energy of the tower uh, where you're letting go of something old or you're cutting something old you're deciding uh, or you're choosing uh, to walk away from something or someone or to stop looking at it or to stop investing in it and then to start a new path that is actually a lot better for you brings you more stability more uh, success prosperity love calm harmony whatever you're looking for but it's a really good energy um with the ace of swords and you know this can translate as a new job it can translate as graduation time and you're getting a new job offer right away it can even be a new relationship but it feels more like seeing relationships in a new way or understanding what kind of partner you really really want and that's what gives you a new beginning in your love life because now you're going to go for a different partner and you're going to have a different type of relationship that's going to be a lot better for you actually um this is also inspiration lots of information coming your way so you're starting some sort of a research program or a training course or development course um very very successfully so it could be with a grant supporting you or um, through the company or something like that with the Ace of Swords. Brand new beginning that's going to bring you lots of success and accomplishment. For September, we have the Six of Cups. With the Six of Cups in September, um, I don't know where the when the uh, Mercury retrogrades are going on in 2017. It could be a Mercury retrograde, I don't know. But, you know, just because the Six of Cups is a card that shows up a lot during Mercury retrogrades, the Six of Cups whether it's retrograde or not, talks about um, people, ideas, opportunities, situations from the past coming back around. And this is either to be reviewed and released, to try again, uh, to have closure, um, whatever the reason may be. And with the Six of Cups, it can be a time for family and it can be a time for children um, or uh, taking time to reunite uh, to reconnect with friends from your childhood or people you haven't seen in a really long time people who used to be important to you um, in September could be coming up with the six of cups otherwise it also feels like help genuine help that is given to you by another water sign a cancer a Scorpio or Pisces uh, and this person could be a friend or they're going to be a friend to you with the Six of Cups. This is genuine support. This is genuine love, genuine affection that is offered to you in September when you need it most. Um, this is also, you know, forging new relationships, new friendships, new business partnerships uh, can be coming up with the Six of Cups. And it can also be, like I say, something or someone uh, from the past reaching out, coming back, and you're reconnecting with that person. For October, we have the Three of Swords. With the Three of Swords in October, it can be that this person coming back is giving you a hard time. It can be that this person coming back is also bringing um, past pain or difficulty. Maybe that's why they're coming back for you to review everything and heal from it or have closure from it. The Three of Swords can show up when we're dealing with a bit of um, heartache or heartbreak situation or disappointment can also show up when we feel like we have to sacrifice what we want to do. Um, it can also be a card that shows up when uh, we cannot or we feel like we cannot speak our, our truth. We have to hold back. We have to hold our tongue. Um, so in other words, sacrifice. The Three of Swords can also be an online relationship 
maybe with this water sign. Um, it can also be a long distance um, relationship. Um, it can be a card of separation. So in October, you could be traveling and that takes you away from your environment and it takes you away from friends and family and that's why the Three of Swords shows up. Whatever this is for you in October, it's temporary. It's not going to last long and it's how you react to it that's going to make it a big deal or not such a big deal, okay? In November, we do have the King of Cups. So with the King of Cups in November, uh, for some of you, this is your energy. I feel like you're on your own or you're working on yourself. Uh, personal development or uh, professional development as well comes up because the King of Cups can be someone in HR or someone in recruitment that you're in communication with in November. Someone scouting you or headhunting you. Um, for those of you, the King of Cups is a focus on home and family. So maybe you're coming back from your trip in October uh, and you feel like you're in your element again. For those of you, this is just another water sign, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, that's the main focus for you in November. This could be a romantic partner, um, a friend, a family member, a co-worker, whatever the case may be. I feel like this is someone who's going to help you. This is someone who's going to pr provide support for you in some kind of a way. For those of you, this could even be a counselor or a therapist or a healer of sorts that you're consulting in November. And in December, you end the month with another 10. And this is the 10 of cups. And this is the happily ever after card. This could be marriage proposals. This could be talking about starting a family. This could be um, moving in together. This could be um, just spending time with family, maybe for the holidays. Um, this is the family coming together, celebrating happy times, joy, laughter, love, contentment, coming up with the 10 of cups. For those of you, this could be even a, a retirement party. Um, it could be changing how you work, if this is not in a love sense. It's changing how you work and maybe you're gonna start to work from home um, in December of 2017. Uh, for those of you, this is an addition to the family, so having a child or getting pregnant uh, coming up for you in December. But it's a beautiful, beautiful way to end the year. And I feel like, you know, you start with a 10, you end with a 10, and it's the two positive 10s, if you want to call them that, 10 of Pentacles and 10 of Cups. So your financial life is going to be seeing new beginnings and a new way of doing things, um, new way of earning in 2017, and your emotional life is going to see completions and new beginnings uh, in 2017. Let's look at your Oracle cards for career, finances, education. We have Azure. Your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen. Now this card tells you that whatever you're trying to manifest in 2017, it will happen. You just have to, again, be patient, stay calm and grounded. Take your time, make sure you do everything properly and then you just have to wait for it to, to come together. Um, you will be successful with whatever you set out to do in 2017, so definitely go for it. Whatever you're trying to manifest, 2017 is the year to go for it. Um, just be mindful of your emotions and be mindful of who you trust. But as long as you believe in yourself, in your dream, and what you're trying to manifest, that's all that matters and you're going to be successful. Don't try to force anything to happen and don't try to uh, please anyone. In other words, you know, kind of make them force you make a choice or make a decision. Just take your time, focus on the work, you'll be absolutely fine. Lots of success and accomplishments coming up for you all year round is what I'm getting. For emotional life and love life, we have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So this is saying, for those of you who are single, whoever you're interested in or whoever catches your eye, don't hold back or don't wait for them to make the first move or don't set them, send them uh, subtle signals that they're not getting, okay? This is saying, be clear, express your love. Pay them a compliment, ask them out, tell them how you feel um, is really going to help you make progress in your love life or even start a relationship. Um, and this is also saying if for existing relationships, make it a priority, okay? You're going to have a really good uh, year when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your work, you can do anything. But you need to be mindful that your relationships 
need your attention and care as well. And so this is just saying, you don't have to do this every day. If you can, that's great. But if you cannot, don't get discouraged. Whenever you can, whenever you, you have the time, just express your love. Do something nice. Do something to sh show the other person that you love them and that you're in, you're in that relationship together. Um, and you want to make it a good one. And if you feel like you do not have the time, then you need to make the time. Um, a date night every week or every couple of weeks or every month. Um, it's just something small, but it still says, I love you and I want to be with you. For your health and well-being, we have home help. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, thank you for giving me the courage to ask for and accept help from you, the angels, and others in matters regarding my family and home. So for some of you, this is definitely saying that 2017 is going to be a year focused on health, well-being, and preparing to start a family or preparing to expand the family. Um, for those of you, it's just saying you draw your strength from your home. You draw your strength from your family and being with your family. So whenever you feel down or whenever you feel sad or, or tired, you just need to pick me up, you know, look to your family for that. Look to your loved ones. Just spend some time with your loved ones, spend some time with your partner, spend some time with your children or your pets even. And that's really, really going to help you. And it's, it's going to help you keep you balanced and grounded at the same time. And your overall advice is take time to take time, sorry, take your time making this decision. Archangel Michael, please help me stay strong and relaxed as I approach this situation. Remind me to detach and step back, allowing the situation to naturally unfold. Thank you for protecting me. So this is definitely, you know, it's saying that, yes, you're going to be contemplating some decisions in 2017, some major decisions, um, but you have to take your time with it. And you can and should take your time with making those decisions. Don't go overboard and, you know, in, into the other extreme where you don't do anything because you're afraid of making a decision because you do have the power to make things what you want them to be. And you should use that, okay? It's a gift, you being able to make that choice. Take your time with it and come up with a decision that you're comfortable with and you're at peace with and just have faith and move on with it. Um, it's showing up for you with this energy. So, you know, it's definitely, it looks like a really good year for you. Some, some ups and downs and some hiccups here and there, but ultimately a year for a breakthrough and new beginnings in either how you earn your money, how you work, where you work, um, family and the home um, and where you live uh, happening for you in 2017. Um, I do feel like ultimately it ultimately is going to be a really good year for you. Um, take the advice of the cards. I feel like you can make it a great year. Okay, so thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. I hope it helps you. Let me know. Um, how the cards make sense to you and how your year is going. Um, thank you for your support. Have a wonderful year and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.